Okay, YouTube, in this video, we're going to be defining what we mean by a direction angle when it comes to vectors in standard position. That is some vector that starts at the origin and terminates somewhere out in the xy coordinate plane. So uh, let's go ahead and define this. We say the direction angle is the measure of the angle between the vector itself, so this yellow vector you see here, and the positive x axis. So we say, of course, the positive x axis is this portion. Uh, right here, but we say that the direction angle is always this angle theta between there and there. And what I will say is this, as far as a direction angle is concerned, we say a direction angle, uh, it is always somewhere between and including zero degrees up to but not including 360 degrees. Or you could say between zero up to but not including two pi. Uh, so essentially the further around this goes, like let's say I had a vector that terminated over here in the second quadrant, its direction angle would be some angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So in general we say that um, the direction angle, I just popped over to that GeoGebra here, and I've already, you know, cast a vector here that's in standard position. And you can see that it has some direction angle of 36.87 degrees. The idea that I wanted to get across was this. <clears throat> Depending upon where your angle terminates, of course, uh, you can find its direction angle, but the biggest it'll ever get is 360, because the moment you pop over to 360, it just goes back to like zero again, okay? So the idea is that it's always between there and the positive x-axis. So now in terms of how do we find a direction angle, let's go ahead and talk about what we know about this already. Uh, in terms of the direction angle, uh, we say, how could I find this given the component form of this vector? Well, you have to understand that since we are given the component form of this vector, we already know that this is the point A comma B where this terminates. So if we were to imagine that in general we have some right triangle instance where we've dropped down an altitude, we already know the value of the height of this triangle or the y component and the value of the base of this triangle, which is the x component. So if we wanted to find this angle theta here, I think that knowing B and A, we could relate theta to B and A by doing an opposite over adjacent type of relationship here or a tangent type of relationship. So it is very fair to say this. We say that the tangent of our direction angle is equal to B over A, where if we have some you know, vector in component form, we just need to know the y and x component respectively. So it is fair to say this also. We say that theta is equal to the tan inverse of b over a. And this will give us right here, I want to be clear on this, it's going to give us a reference angle. So what we want to do is we want to at least make sure we write this down on our paper. We say the direction angle is defined thusly. The direction angle. It is just the tangent inverse of b over a, and I'm going to say it's the absolute value of the tangent inverse of b over a. This is going to give us theta prime, and from that theta prime, we should be able to find the direction angle of the actual vector. So let's say, for instance, we have some vector, and I'm going to say this is the vector 2 comma negative 3. This would mean that starting at the origin, to get to the terminal point on this vector, we would have to go right 2, and we would have to go down 3. So using what we know here, we can say drawing this vector in starting at the origin, we'll call this some vector, I want to call it u. So here's our, oops, there we go, that's better looking. So here's our vector u. If we want to find the direction angle on this, we already know, for instance, that this point here is 2 comma negative 3. So we have our a and b values here, and we say that this is negative 3 and this is 2. So when we solve for the direction angle here, what you're actually going to be finding, again, is the reference angle, and then we're going to use that to help us determine what this would actually be in standard position. So we have theta prime, using this formula that we've outlined here, is equal to the tangent inverse of negative 3 over positive 2. Okay, so I'm going to get my calculator out here, and we're just going to evaluate this. So we have 3, that is negative, divided by a positive 2, is negative 1.5. And we are going to find the tangent inverse of this, so tan inverse. And we get about a negative 56 point, uh, we'll call it 3 degree angle here. The idea is that we get a negative 53.6 degree-ish angle. But that, what we found right there, if we took the absolute value of that, it would be 53.6. That's the reference angle right here. That is what this thing equals, so 53 point six degrees. So what we wanted to find, of course, was the direction angle, which by definition is this angle between the positive x wrapping all the way around to get to here. So if we know that this terminates in the fourth quadrant and that this is 53.6 degrees, what we could do is we could take the full 360 minus the 53.6 degrees. And that's going to leave us behind with the angle that we're, of course, looking for. So I'm just going to add 360 to this number. Uh, and we get 303.7-ish. So approximately 303.7 degrees. This is our direction angle for this vector. Cheers.